Hi, many people approach me on LinkedIn and ask me, you know, how can they start with freelancing or how did I got my first freelancing job? And some of them even complained that, you know, they applied for a multiple freelancing job, but they didn't get any response from the client. So I wanted to share here, like, you know, how did I got my first freelancing job? So when I decided to start freelancing, especially on Upwork, I first went there, I created an account on Upwork and I just look at what kind of data science related freelancing jobs are there because I wanted to do with the data science related thing. And I could see there are a couple of jobs posted on Upwork related to data science, including doing some data analysis, doing some data engineering, you know, someone has already modeled um, build, they want to deploy it there like an ML ops kind of thing, or someone has a data set and they want to you know, fine tune that, uh, let's say, latest transformer model like BERT on that particular data set. So by looking at those jobs, you know, I come to know what kind of job usually people post on a freelancing website, especially related to, let's say, a data science kind of stuff. And also, how much they are willing to pay for such a job. That's what I came to know. And I decided kind of job that I wanted to apply because since I was already working as a data scientist, I have a couple of expertise and I could see uh, many of those jobs I could do with, uh, you know, uh, whatever skills I already have. So I would also suggest that if you are a beginner or a working data scientist, doesn't matter. First, you go and see what kind of jobs are posted there. See whether you already have those skills or you need to acquire those skills to do such a job. So that is the first thing we should do. And once I know the kind of job and the, you know the, how much people are paying for such jobs, then I also look at when you apply for a proposal, so in the Upwork, when you apply for any job, so a client will post the requirement, you as a freelancer can apply for that job and you will be write a cover letter or a proposal, you know, explaining why you are the right person for that particular job. And I could see some of the proposals will expect from you the some, you know, some demo videos or so whatever the kind of portfolio you have done. And I didn't have any such a portfolio because most of my data science experience is actually from the industry. I worked for like two, three companies and my experience is very specific to companies and it didn't have anything directly that I can show the demo. So I decided to create my portfolio or, or create some uh, demo. So I think uh, I created one, um, one small project where I could put a mobile review or a product review, a electronic item, and it will predict sentiment and it will predict the name entities present. So it's like name entity recognition. So I use Spacey and I use transformer model to uh, predict entities present into the mobile or electronic reviews. Like, um, you know, I call it like aspect or entity prediction. I could predict there is a RAM present, let's say 4 GB RAM or a processor present, or it is about the camera. So just small demo project where because I could, you know, attach something to the proposal. And once I have these things in place, the next thing I decided to apply for only small jobs. What I mean by small job, the jobs which are only posted for, let's say, $50 or $100. My reasoning behind is that if there is an established freelancer you know, who already has a good reviews and already earning few thousand dollars on Upwork, they might not be interested in such a job like $50 or those $100 job. So I thought of as a beginner, you know, we have a better chance to get those particular jobs. So that's the first thing, looking for a job which are just $50 or $100. The second thing, since I have already seen a multiple jobs posted, I wanted to apply for a thing where client needed an urgent help. You could find some of the job posting mentioning, you know, urgently help needed or as soon as possible. Now, these are the jobs client might not wait for an expert freelancer who has a good reviews to come, right? Since they are in need, as a beginner, we got a you know, chance to uh, get those jobs. That is the thing. And the third thing I think I uh, did, I will genuinely mention in my proposal that, you know, I'm just starting freelancing. I'm just, uh, you know, starting freelancing and I'm happy to connect and discuss further whatever, uh, you know, uh, problem statement you have. So I shown willingness to jump on a call and discuss further. So this was the three things I kept in mind when I was applying for a job. And I remember I saw a job posting related to the natural language processing and it is related to some text processing kind of thing. And client has mentioned it you know, as soon as uh, they need help. And it was just recently posted, just 10 minutes before. So they didn't have any much you know, uh, application applied for that. And it was just $100. 
So uh, see, this is how I, I wrote the proposal. The first two, three lines, I will mention my credibility. I will say that, you know, I am senior or a lead data scientist working here. You know, I have done similar natural language processing project. So that two, three lines, credibility. Next two, three lines, I will directly touch to the client problem. Since they have posed something related to the text processing and natural language uh, processing, I will mention that, you know, uh, I have experience with this kind of text processing and I have already used this kind of libraries, right? That is my second part. And as I mentioned, third part, I will always mention since I'm just starting freelancing, I'm happy to connect and discuss this thing further. So this, this is how like three parts in my, you know, uh, proposal and and I all will also attach a portfolio demo with the single application project that I did right before even applying this the spacey name entity recognition I will attach that demo so it, it feels good actually so you have a good proposal and since I already have an experience so I attach that demo there but if you are a beginner uh, you know data scientist and you don't have any such a you know credibility that you have few years of experience or something, but you can establish that credibility. Let's say maybe you have done some Kaggle competition. You can mention that thing, you know, that you got some, I think there are some like gold, silver or some kind of stuff in Kaggle, right? That you got that particular thing or you got first prize here or you have completed your master's in data science. You can establish your credibility the way you want. You can use those first two, three lines to establish credibility. And the second thing, whatever problem you are, you know, if client is looking for a fine tuning a transformer model or fine tuning machine learning model on a custom data set, you should mention specific to that problem statement that how you going to solve that problem. You can suggest an approach or if you have already done something similar, either your demo project, a portfolio project, or you have worked something similar in industry, you can mention that gives client more confident. You know, even you are a beginner freelancer and they could see, okay, he's already suggesting an approach that how can they solve that particular problem. And even if, you know, if you have already worked on it, then that is very much good thing that you can directly tell that I have worked something uh, similar. So these are some of the things I think that helped me. The other thing I remember uh, when I applied for the second job, and uh, I think going some extra mile does help as a beginner. So I remember a one of the job posting related to the natural language processing where client had a data set and he even attached that data set. And he also attached one research paper that they want to implement. But it was a simple thing that they just wanted to find to that particular thing. And I, I mentioned the same proposal. I think it is the same proposal I put there, attach my that demo video. And I mentioned I'm available for the call. And I got reply from the client that, you know, and the client asked me, do we have any sample code that you can show similar to what I'm looking for? And um, when I got that message, I went, I read that research paper. And I just created some sample code related to, you know, how we can fine tune a bird transformer. And I, I send that notebook to him that, okay, this is how I will fine tune. And I think they, that guy liked that particular thing. And then he said, okay, uh, that is good. This is what I'm looking for. And I got that job. And that was also a $100 job. So this is how I got my first two jobs. The first job I got because client was urgently looking for an help. And I could convince in my proposal what he is looking for. I already have an experience. And the most important thing I think that helped me is that I was willing to jump on a call to discuss this further with the client. And if the client is online, they're going to consider it. They might message you or reply you at least. So do these things. And I think if you could do this thing and apply for a couple of jobs, uh, you should get, at least you should get a reply and then you will get uh, you know more idea whether even getting response from the client, why you're not able to get that contract. But try, apply 20, 50 jobs, and I'm damn sure someone will trust you. And whoever trusts you, you need to make sure you do a good job. So whatever the first job I got, I did a good job. I solved their problem in the next three to four hours. And the client was really happy. They put good review for me. Same thing with the second one. Since uh, the second one even you know, mentioned in the review that I completed that task before with that expected time. So I think I just finished in one or two days uh, both these particular jobs. And once I had these two, three good reviews available on the Upwork, it became easy for me to get the next job. And now actually I have earned more than $10,000 on Upwork. So I get many invitations. I think I remember, I get daily at least one or two invitations. So in a month, I get like maybe 40 or 50 invitations to work on. And, and then I choose very specific to what I want to work on. You might have your own, uh, you know, um, 
the specific task that you want to work on. You might want to only focus on, uh, let's say, analysis part, or you might want to focus on computer vision, natural language processing, MLOps, whatever thing you want to do. But the specific thing does mention, uh, help. So uh, I would say, you know, rather than mentioning I'm a data engineer, I would rather prefer to mention AWS data engineer. When you're starting, specific job profile does help rather than showing something generic and all sort of uh, you know things. So be specific you know, and show that you are expert in that particular thing. I think that that's what I think. It has more chances of landing your job. And once you have a couple of uh, jobs you're done, then you can mention the breadth of the knowledge what uh, you have. I hope this video is useful to you. Let, let me know into the comment section, you know, you want to know more about this thing or do you want me to show you on Upwork, you know, how to search for a job, how to, how to check whether the client is even, uh, you know, credible or not, or do you want to see a couple of, you know, proposals that I have written? If you want to see that thing, let me know in the comments so that, you know, I might create a video or I might share it on some Google Drive or I just put it on GitHub somewhere. Thank you. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe because I most create videos related to the natural language processing and most of my videos are project oriented videos i try to create videos on what are my learning from industry and uh, whatever things i have done as a freelancer and i think you can pick up any one or two of my videos and you have that skill set that you can you know earn money as a freelancer whether it's a fine tuning transformer model deploying machine learning model or creating chatbot or building a name entity recognition model. These kinds of jobs you will find on Upwork. And I almost have most of the videos, even the most of the work I have recently done related to the GPT-3. And I think I, I have made two videos on GPT-3. So I already have on my channel what it is needed to earn the money on Upwork. I urge you, you subscribe to my channel and also go through all this video and let me know what kind of videos do you expect from me. Thank you.